Hey guys, I hope everyone's having a great February um, and you're surviving the a massive amount of rain that we're getting in February. Um, eventually we may need boats to get to work, but until then, I guess we'll just pedal along or just go swimming, either way. Um, so, a couple of announcements, mid-assessments. Thank you for participating in mid-assessments. If you did get the chance to participate, I'm very grateful for that. Um, unfortunately, didn't have as many participate as I would have liked to have happen, but that's um, hopefully just because everyone is super busy um, and killing it. For those of you who did come, I'm super impressed with how much effort you're putting into this, and it clearly shows in your numbers. We really have some rock stars out there. Um, and be looking for an email from Dennis to kind of highlight those and to show how much of rock stars that we have um, within the Swain County Schools because we do and they're killing it and I'm very proud. Um, so moving forward, uh, we have one event left. We will have um, diet and blood pressure this Thursday, February 28th. I'm just briefly briefly mentioning it in case um, this doesn't get to you. So Thursday, February 28th from around 4 until 4.30, we'll talk about diet and blood pressure um, and how we can reduce blood pressure with our diet and what we put in our bodies. Um, moving forward, we will have one monthly challenge this month, and it will be your local challenge. This is what it looks like. Um, your local challenge is specifically what it says. It's local. So just eat local for 24 out of the 28 days in the challenge. I'm fully aware that there are more than 28 days in March, but we're going to stick with 28 days just because eating local gets hard. Um, and sometimes, you know, there's not a whole lot of fruits and vegetables that are in season during February, March. So for the purpose of this challenge, I have listed everything that is in season or considered in season um, during February. In March here and I've also provided recipes because most of the time whenever we go to the grocery store we just get what we always get and we get what's familiar to us we don't really think about trying to change it up or sometimes we do and we're just very unsuccessful because we don't know what recipes to get and we're in a hurry and we're, tr we're trying to do a million things so um, that's exactly what this challenge is for is trying new things and exploring our um, nutritional background and, and facts by doing this. So every single thing on this calendar is in season, uh, February and March, and I've also provided again the healthy recipes. Um, if you just type in verbatim, you should get what I um, what I found online. So um, the local challenge, these items must be whole, and what I mean by whole is they can't be canned, can't be frozen, and they can't be processed. So they can't be dried, and they can't be pre-made. So everything has to be whole. You get it from, again, your far your farmer's market, your local farmer's market. You can go to Darnell Farms or you can get it in the local produce section in Ingalls. Um, either way, those those are kind of the expectations of the local challenge. Um, you're eating everything fresh and whole, which is the whole purpose of the local challenge. It, the way that you're going to get credit for this challenge is on the days that you try a specific fruit or vegetable, you're going to initial. And if you, and if you try to uh, recipe that I suggested, circle that recipe that you tried. And you can always leave little notes in the margins. I love it when people do that. When you leave little notes in the margins for me to read of great or horrible, hated it, um, whatever it may be. And again, you don't have to do this in order. Um, you can do it, you know, just get it random at the grocery store that goes with your meal prep challenge that we have coming up or, or whatever works for you. So that's your only monthly challenge for March. The next challenge that you have is your Meal Prep Works one week challenge starting on March 17th. It'll start on a Sunday because most time meal prep happens on a Sunday for the work week. So um, hopefully the intention is for you to meal prep on Sunday. You can go to the grocery store on Saturday, Sunday, whatever works for you. And then meal prep for Monday through Friday. And for this challenge... What you need to do is write down the meals that you prepare. Um, so I've given you space for technically six meals. We all know that you can spread those meals out, double them, divide them, whatever you want to do. I just mean you prepared jasmine rice and ginger chicken and you're splitting that for lunch and dinner or whatever it is. Um, you can split it into however many ways, but it's the complete meal that you made. Um, just that one one meal. Um, and then the bottom it says meal works challenge, meal prep works challenge, and it gives you five spaces. What you need to do in there is to write down lunch, 
which meal prep you ate, dinner, which meal prep you ate, and you should achieve three out of the five days that you eat your meal prep meals. Um, if you do all five, awesome. That is fantastic. Um, but I'm just working towards three out of the five. Um, and if you want to prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner, more power to you. That's awesome. If you want to just do lunch, more power to you. Um, if you want to do lunch and dinner or just dinner, it's completely on your schedule and on your time. Um, the way the meal prep works challenge is really specifically for you to try meal prep. Um, and so that's my intention with this challenge is just to get you to try meal prepping and see if it works for you. You don't have to meal prep the whole meal if you don't want to. You can cut up fruits and vegetables and have them ready for the next day. That technically is meal prep. Um, you can cook something in the crock pot. That's meal prep. Um, whatever works for you and for your schedule to save time, money, and eat healthier. Um, that's really the ultimate goal of meal prep. So if you have any questions about this, please reach out and let me know. But those are the intentions. So this is one week, March 17th to March 24th, I do believe is what it is. So those are your two monthly challenges. Um, your education sessions that you have coming up. Um, the first one is we have our Makeup January Tuesdays to Thrive, which will be on March 5th, which is next Tuesday at Western. We're going to be talking about mental health. With Dr. Tony Robertson, who works, he's a nurse, psychiatric practitioner, I do believe. Um, so we will be in the Health and Human Sciences building. The address is written on the flyer, starting at 530, discussing different ways to kind of combat mental health issues and hopefully answer your questions about any mental health issues that might pop up in your, in your life. So March 5th, 530, Western Health and Human Sciences building. I promise um, that we will be having this one. I just want to give a big shout out to Sherry Wright for coming to the last Tuesdays to Thrive, the Cardiology Tuesdays to Thrive, and um, we didn't have it. So <laughs> I apologize to Sherry publicly. I'm so sorry. Um, and we will be having this one. I promise you that. So if you do come, it will happen. Um, the next the next education session we'll have is meal prep 101. So to help you with your um, meal prep challenge, we're going to be doing a course on it. So I will be with you on March 12th at 4 p.m. in the high school media center. We'll be going over meal prep, different ways to go about meal prep, and hopefully have some nice fun recipes for you to kind of um, look at and talk to me about different strategies for meal prep. So that will be on the 12th, Tuesday the 12th at 4 p.m. The next thing is our second Tuesdays to Thrive because we're having two this month. We missed the first one in January, so we're making up for it in March. The second one will be Tuesday, March 19th, talking about nutrition. So Western students and faculty will be joining us and talking about nutrition. And um, I find that nutrition is the number one thing to talk about right now because nutrition has so many it plays so many roles um, in, in heart disease, cancer, diabetes, COPD. There, It plays a role in everything. And ultimately, we are what we eat. So if you put um, garbage in your body, you're going to feel like garbage. If you put quality food in your body, you're going to feel quality. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel energized. Um, so come talk to us about that. Again, we'll be at Western, so we'll be at Western twice this month at the Health and Human Sciences building, same spot at 5.30. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Um, and I think that's about it. The only other thing is that March 8th, on your teacher work day, I will be there with you doing some Pilates and slash or yoga. So I think 1.30 is when I will be there for... Um, yoga or pilates session so hope that you will come out and join me for that and again y'all are doing awesome and i'm so proud of the work that you're putting in and i hope you continue to put that work in and if you ever have any questions or concerns or anything um please email me call me whatever you need to do and i'm happy to help i really want to see everybody succeed so look so i look forward to seeing everybody soon